Hello everyone. As you know, we are already studied about the nutrition in human. Let's start a new topic: nutrition in humans. How can humans can get the energy from the food that are known as the nutrition in animals, and that all procedure involved in human digestive system. Human digestive system mainly involves so many organs like mouth, food pipe, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, colon, rectum, and anus. These all organs are involved in human digestive system. In human digestive system, there are mainly three glands. First one is salivary glands. salivary glands second one is pancreas third one is liver these three glands involved in human digestive system and these are important role in our digestion of food let's start how can food digest in our body hamare body mein jo humne food khaya hai वो कैसे डाइजेस्ट होगा सो मैनी आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू डैट फाइव स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन डैट फर्स्ट वन इज वी आर टेकिंग द फूड इन टू अवर माउथ वेन वी आर टेकिंग द फूड इन टू अवर माउथ डेट इज नॉन एज इन जेंशियन यस आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू डैट इन जेंशियन टू टेकिंग द कॉम्प्लेक्स फूड इन टू अवर माउथ डेट इज नॉन एज होलोजोइक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रीशन That is known as holozoic mode of nutrition. Firstly, we take the mouth into our, we take the food into our mouth. In their mouth, we have the teeth and the teeth. What is the function of teeth in our mouth? To cut the food into smaller pieces, and tongue it help to mixing the food and make it. fluffy and soft to engulf easily when we are taking a bite of any type of food that time our teeth start to cut down into smaller pieces and our tongue help into mixing and mix soft and fluffy of that there are salivary glands also present that secrete saliva that's secret saliva that's secret saliva saliva contain a enzyme that is known as toleen saliva contain in enzyme that is known as toleen what is the function of toleen 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 broken down the starch into maltose toleen broken down the starch into maltose that our food make fluffy and soft it will mix easily then it will be passed to the food pipe that is a tube like structure that is a food pipe that food pipe name is esophagus that food pipe is known as esophagus there are a peristaltic movement in a food pipe when we are taking a bite teeth start to cut the food tongue help into mixing it that is a physical digestion physical digestion already done in our mouth when physical digestion completed it will pass into food pipe by the peristaltic movement by which by the peristaltic movement by this movement food one time go up down up down contraction and relaxation contraction and relaxation by this contraction and relaxation food slowly slowly go down into our stomach food through the this food pipe food pass into stomach stomach is a j shape structure j shape structure in which food lap for 3 to 5 ha stomach where food remain
remain for left for three to five half. Where for left here three to five half. There are digestive juices secreted. In digestive juice, there are three substances are involved. One is one is hydrochloric acid. One is hydrochloric acid. Second one is pepsin. Third one is mucus. What is the function of acid in our stomach? Yes. What is the function of acid in our stomach? Acid. SCL. That make acidic nature of our stomach. That make acidic nature of our stomach. Pepsin. That broken down protein into peptones. That broken down protein into peptones. Mucus. Mucus, it help the inner wall of the stomach from the on secretion. It help the inner wall of stomach from on secretion. Aap logo ne suna hoga. Kabhi kabhi hum kuch kha le aisa, to humare stomach mein acidity ban jati hai. Jis ki wajah se humare pet mein inflammation, jalan honne lag jati hai. Stomach ek ho jata hai, us pe dard hoot hai. Us time, it means जो एसिड है जो भी हमने खाया है उसकी वजह से एसिड ज्यादा बनने लगा है जब वो एसिड बनेगा तो इन्फ्लेमेशन होगी म्यूकस प्रोटेक्ट डेट इन्फ्लेमेशन फ्रॉम डेट इन्फ्लेमेशन टू द इनर वॉल ऑफ द स्टमक क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू म्यूकस प्रोटेक्ट द इनर वॉल ऑफ स्टमक फ्रॉम द सिक्रेशन ऑफ एस सी एल डेट थ्री कमाई नॉन एज द डाइजेस्टिव juice that three combine known as digestive juices that three combine known as digestive juices that function is very important to digest the food after when it will be converted into a semi solid solid paste it will be passed to a duodenum it will be passed to a duodenum into the small intestine. That coil like structure are known as small intestine. That coil like structure known as small intestine. Its name only small intestine, but in really it is not a small, it is a long tube like structure. That will be present in a helical form. It is a long tube-like structure which is present in a double helical form and to a state form. It will be connected to the large intestine. That is, it is connected to the large intestine. After that, it will be undigested food stored into the rectum and go out through the anus. Like this, whatever we are eating, completely digest in our body and go out the body. There are liver that secrete the bile juice, that secrete the bile juice, pancreas that secrete the pancreatic juice. and creating juice when food pass through food pipe and remain into stomach there are digestive juice that will convert into the semi-solid paste after this food pass into the small intestine small intestine it is a site of complete digestion of food it is a site of complete digestion of Food. Whenever food require bile juice, liver secrete the bile juice. Whenever bile juice, food require the bile juice, it will be secreted and temporarily stored into the gall bladder. It will be secreted into temporarily stored into the 
gallbladder, pancreas secreted the pancreatic juice and it will be also temporarily stored into the gall blood. Whenever food required for the complete digestion at that moment, bile juice and pancreatic juice will come pass into the small intestine through the duodenum. That is the duodenum. Duodenum. That is the duodenum that receive the secretion of liver and pancreas that temporarily stored into the gall bladder that receive and there are it is a site of complete digestion of food. Now food is complete digested. If any undigested part remain now, those part will not require in our body that will be stored into the that will be passed through the colon. This is a colon. It will connect it into the small intestine. Colon. It will be passed into the rectum. Rectum. Where undigested food temporarily stored for some time. After there is an opening. That opening is known as anus. Through this anus, food will be out of the body. That is a complete digestion of the human body. Have you clear to all of you? Again, I repeat in my topic. Please listen carefully. And if you have any problem, you can write in your comment box. I will give to you a solution in the next video. Okay, students. Let's now look here again. Firstly, we take the food into our mouth. There are a mouth in which small teeth and tongue are present. Physical digestion is start in our mouth, teeth, cut down the food into smaller pieces, tongue, mixes it and make fluffy and soft to angle easily. There are salivary glands that, that contain saliva, that secrete saliva and contain inactive enzyme toline which broken down the starch into the maltose which broken down starch into the maltose then it will be passed into a food pie that food pie is known as oesophagus when food will be passed into this pie there are a movement that is contraction and relaxation that contraction and relaxation known as the peristaltic movement that contraction and relaxation known as the peristaltic movement. Through this peristaltic movement, food pass into the stomach. I already told you that stomach is a J-shaped structure in which food remain 3 to 5 hours. There are a digestive juices which mainly secrete hydrochloric acid, pepsin and the mucus. Hydrochloric acid that make acidic nature of our stomach. Epsin that broken down the proteins into simpler substances that are known as peptones. That is known as peptones. That is a small part of the proteins. And mucus that, that protect our inner wall of the stomach from the on secretion. That is the function of the mucus. These all three secreted in our stomach. When there is a semi-solid paste of food that will be passed to the small intestine. Small intestine, it is a complete, it is a site of a complete digestion of food. When food required for the digestion, there is a liver that secrete the bile juice that temporarily stored into the gall bladder. There is a pancreas band the stomach that secrete the pancreatic juice that is also temporarily stored into the gall bladder whenever we need digestion of food then food pass into the then this secretion pass into the small intestine and there will be food completely digest when food completely digests there are our blood vessels that absorb all the food from small intestine and pass to hold the body 
and we get the energy when we get the energy that is known as the assimilation we get the energy our body start to grow our ruptured tissue will start to repair repair that repairing after that repairing if any undigested part those not required in our body that will be passed to the large intestine large intestine colon rectum these combine known as the large intestine undigested food stored into the colon stored into the rectum they are a temporary store after that undigested food go out of the body that is known as ejection that is known as ejection food will undigested food pass out of the body that are known as the ejection have you clear to all of you now it is the complete digestion of food now it is a complete digestion of food now i am going to draw a flow chart to learn this procedure that with the help of that flow chart you can easily learn this whole the procedure and which enzyme is secreted into our stomach which enzyme secreted into our blood our mouth salivary glands liver pancreas etc you can learn easily so students please like and subscribe my channel if you want more and more videos of that and please also press the bell icon let's continue on my topic to complete it firstly what is going on i am going to draw here a flow chart for learning it too easily what we are doing we are taking the food into our mouth that is known as ingestion firstly we are going to take the food into our mouth in mouth there are teeth and tongue teeth and teeth and tongue which help into chewing the food chewing the food in mouth there are salivary glands which gland present in our mouth salivary glands in mouth there are salivary glands which secrete saliva saliva have an active enzyme that is known as toluene what is the function of toluene to break down the starch into the maltose to break down starch into maltose it will convert into simple substances after this food is fluffy and soft is fluffy and soft we can easily and guys we can easily engulf and food pass to the food pipe food pipe other name of food pipe is also phagus yes also phagus there are a contraction and relaxation that movement is known as peristaltic movement there are contraction and relaxation by peris peristaltic movement for pass into the stomach 
food pass into our stomach. Stomach is a J shaped structure. J shaped structure. There are mainly digestive juice secreted. Digestive juices. That digestive juices contain three things substances SCL, Pepsi, Mucus. SCL is hydrochloric acid that may acidic in nature. Acidic nature. Pepsin breakdown protein mucus helping on secretion of inner wall of the stomach. Protect inner ball of stomach from on secretion when food is converted into semi solid paste after this food pass to the after this food pass to the duodenum to the small intestine, small intestine, small intestine, it is the site of complete digestion of food. Small intestine, complete digestion of food. Small intestine receive the secretion of the liver and the pancreas also for the duodenum. Small intestine receive the secretion of the liver and pancreas. Liver secrete bile juice. What is the function of bile juice? To break down the fat into fatty molecules. To break down the fat into fatty molecules. To break down fats into fatty molecule pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice mainly contain three things. Pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice mainly contain three things. First one is the amylase. Amylase, amylopectin, amylopectin, and trypsin. These all are help of digestion of starch and fats molecule. Help. Digestion of starch and fats. Now in our food, starch break down, fats broken down, proteins broken down, everything mainly to complex food already broken down. After complete digestion, there are pancreatic juice secreted by the pancreas that mainly contain 
amylase, amylopectin and trypsin. These all are digest the starch and fats in our body. After that complete digestion, food will be passed into our blood that is known as absorption. Where it will be happening? Happening in the small intestine. When blood will absorb the digested food and pass over all the body, we get the energy that are known as assimilation, absorption. After absorption, food will be provide to us energy that are known as assimilation. After that, food will pass into the large intestine. Firstly, in rectum, large intestine. Large intestine mainly have colon and rectum. Colon, rectum, colon. It is a it is a coiled tube like structure that pass undigested food to the rectum. Rectum it is a bag like structure that temporarily store the undigested food and that pass undigested food to the anus. That is known as excretion. That is known as excretion. So students my topic nutrition in humans digestive system of humans is over now if you have any problem you can write in comment box i will give to you solution in next video and please 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 like and subscribe my this channel and press bell icon thank you